everyone welcome back to my channel on today's video thank you so much for joining me today and as you can see from the title today's video is all about my top 10 sensual cheapies from my perfume collection i really hope you're gonna enjoy today's video on today's list and now you guys if you want to smell seductive and sensual on a budget just keep watching i want to start my list with two perfumes that I have sent to me from Orientica brand. Thank you so much Orientica for sending me these gorgeous fragrances and um, they have new collection called um, Arte Bellissimo. Um, they have two fragrances. Packaging uh, looks very very beautiful and so feminine as you can see and the first one that I'm gonna talk about is called Romantic. This beautiful pinky bottle it's here in this velvet box um, the presentation looks so amazing you guys and um, the bottle itself it gives me um, you know the 90s vibes it's kind of old style and um, oriental style but it looks very beautiful as you can see very gorgeous and feminine bottle uh, this fragrance you guys is all about uh, some tart roses like if you can imagine those uh, dark red roses and also it has some pink peonies so the fragrance smells very uh, floral very rosy and it also it has uh, some tartness um, from i think it has grapefruit it doesn't have rhubarb uh, it has some bergamot and um, grapefruits it gives uh, the fragrance that tartness and this fragrance really reminds me of Delina and Delina exclusive mixing together um, so if you can imagine Delina and Delina exclusive uh, you know had a baby it would be this fragrance I think maybe like 70% Delina and 30% exclusive uh, but it smells absolutely stunning and the performance you guys oh my goodness this is a beast fragrance it's gonna uh, leave a huge and wide trail behind you and even performing uh, better than Delina exclusive uh, believe it or not uh, this is amazing you guys when it comes to the performance and really the dry down of this fragrance is to die for is very sweet warm benzoin and vanilla absolutely stunner fragrance if you uh, like uh, very floral rosy sweet fragrances with huge and spectacular performance you need to check out this one romantic by orientica and the second fragrance called um, exotic it comes in this red box as you see and you guys um this fragrance exotic um it sits here in this beautiful uh, reddish box and uh, this fragrance you guys really surprised me because it doesn't smell similar to any fragrance in my collection and let me show you the bottle first absolutely stunning beautiful white golden bottle and again it gives me that you know all the style oriental mood and vibes a very stunner bottle and presentation as you can see um smells very creamy coconutty and very buttery also um this is the most creamiest fragrance i have in my collection the coconut in here smells gorgeous very creamy and when you wear it and when you smell it you're gonna smell the texture of the coconut you know the the buttery texture um it doesn't have a butter note but i don't know how they did it if you like those thick buttery uh, smelling fragrances uh, you're gonna absolutely love it um, it has also i think uh, amber and vanilla it's very sweet fragrance very warm fragrance it works amazing uh, this uh, fall and winter seasons because it really smells very cozy and a very um, edible and yummy way uh, the performance also is amazing uh, but the romantic one is uh, stronger and projects more but uh, this one still has a great lasting power i think it lasts on my skin around eight hours which is great and i'm really over the moon to receive these two gorgeous fragrances from orientica brand thank you so much orientica for sending me these amazing fragrances and i really can't wait to discover more collections and more fragrances from you and the next up on my list, I have a new fragrance from a new Egyptian inspired by fragrance house called Athena. 
and uh, the fragrance that I'm going to talk about today is called Gourmandise and as you can see it looks so elegant, simple yet so elegant and um, as you can tell from the name of the fragrance, Gourmandise is a gourmand fragrance, very gourmand but in a very sensual and seductive way um, this fragrance you guys is all about um, creamy, almondy, powdery, very lactonic scent um, milk note and lactonic smelling fragrances are my top favorites and you're gonna absolutely love it if you like those creamy lactonic fragrances it opens up very nutty smelling from that almond note and um, the milk note in here mixing with the vanilla it gives it that a refined uh, white chocolate you know sweet and very creamy white chocolate uh, really smells so lovely, very edible, but in a very seductive and sensual way. The fragrance also has a wheat note, which is something interesting. Um, and this wheat note in here smells like very warm, nutty, almondy cereal. Uh, mix in with the milk, with the vanilla. Just a gorgeous scent if you want to smell um, gourmand, but in a very different way. Also, I forgot to tell you that this fragrance is inspired by Bois du Monde by Van Cleve and Arpels. I haven't smelled this fragrance before, so I can't compare them together. But um, if you want to smell like a very refined and unique uh, French dessert made of uh, cream and milk and vanilla and cereal and all of those yummy stuff, uh, you're gonna absolutely love this fragrance. The sweetness in this fragrance, you guys, is just done right. It's not too sweet. You can wear it all year round. Uh, it's just an amazing scent. I absolutely adore it. Um, and it's a perfect unisex. It's just in the middle. It doesn't lean masculine or feminine. And it also has great lasting power. So I highly recommend it if you wanna smell very sensual and seductive. Um, it's a very inexpensive scent. Um, I think it retails for $40, uh, but it really smells very expensive and very unique. So yeah, you need to discover this amazing Inspired by Fragrance House. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below. And uh, this was Gourmandise by Athena. And uh, the next fragrance on my list is a celebrity fragrance that I absolutely adore it and is going to be a staple in my fall uh, collection this year. Eyelash by Billie Eilish. I've talked about this fragrance before. This fragrance really smells amazing, especially if you like uh, chocolatey smelling and gourmand smelling fragrances. Uh, you're gonna absolutely love it. Uh, the fragrance really surprised me because it really smells elegant. It doesn't smell cheap. Uh, at all it really smells elegant and also it has a great lasting power which is surprised me because it's a celebrity fragrance um, this is lasted all day on my skin um, and it smells really amazing if you can imagine the true smelling of cacao powder um, mixing with some um, vanilla and some um, amber i think uh, it smells very delicate and smooth and kind of syrupy but it's not too much sweet the sweetness in here is not overpowering it's not annoying at all i think the tonka beans in here and some woody notes in here really balance the sweetness and the fragrance smells very delicate very smooth um very syrupy very yummy but uh, still uh, smelling so uh, you know sultry and seductive um, and as i said it's a great option if you're looking for a long-lasting gourmand sensual fragrance um, you need to check this one out so this was very eilish and next up on my list i have uh, an inexpensive fragrance uh, that smells amazing i absolutely adore it and it's again it's a very rosy powdery sweet very seductive scent uh, that i'm gonna have it in my collection forever i'm talking about uh, rose ecstasy by nina ricci uh, look at this beautiful feminine bottle uh, you guys, this fragrance is not discontinued. Uh, you can still find it easily online. I think it's still available on uh, Fragrance Net uh, for only $35. Uh, actually, uh, all my fragrances in today's video is gonna uh, come between you know $30 to $60 maximum. They are very affordable, but they are smelling amazing. Um, this is all about tart red berries and um, fresh smelling roses. 
And uh, by the way, uh, the nose behind this fragrance is Francis Cortijan and he knows how to do a true rose fragrance. Um, I absolutely love this perfumer and um, all his creations is really done right. And the rose in here, really done right, uh, very fresh smelling, very true and realistic uh, smelling of roses mixing with the fruity red berries and um, the amber wood in here smells very warm and very seductive an amazing scent it gives me delina's vibes of course uh, but this one is way sweeter than delina and also is way more fruity i think uh, but if you like delina fragrance you're gonna absolutely love this one also I uh, highly recommend it because it's very affordable but smells amazing and it has also a great great performance uh, so this one was uh, rose x taste by nina ritchie and in the next up on my list i have another celebrity fragrance uh, from um, ariana grande and of course you guys i'm talking about uh, cloud intense i love the intense version much more than the original cloud because the lavender dose in here is not as sharp and it's not as heavy as the original one the lavender in here really toned down and um, it's also way more creamy from the coconut uh, note so it's a coconut tea uh, very airy a sweet seductive scent that uh, also gives me Bacara Rouge vibes uh, but to be honest I love this one way more than Bacara Rouge because uh, this one doesn't have that medicinal smell if you like Bacara Rouge but without this medicinal uh, smelling uh, you're gonna absolutely love uh, this one um, also the Ambroxin note in here smells very elegant uh, with the woody notes and also it has a heavy base of musk so it's an amazing clean musky sweet airy coconutty uh, scent uh, that has also a great lasting power uh, highly recommend it of course um, you're gonna find it easily at Ulta I think it's ex ex exclusive at Ulta and it retails for I think $60 maximum so it's an amazing option if you like those type of scents so this was Cloud Intense by Ariana Grande next one I have um, a very powdery um, iris based fragrance that I absolutely adore it and I always talk about and uh, this fragrance is Lipstick Fever by uh, Juliette Hazagan uh, I absolutely love this fragrance because I love uh, the makeup piece melon fragrances and the iris in here and the violet in here uh, really smells like true waxy lipstick and it also has a, an opening of some raspberries but the raspberries in here it doesn't smell juicy or fresh um, it smells uh, synthetic I have to say uh, it's exactly like you're smelling a raspberry flavored waxy lipstick if you can imagine that very feminine and delicate scent um, and it also is very affordable I think I got this one from Aura Fragrance if I'm not mistaken and I got it for only 50 bucks so it's really uh, inexpensive uh, online and really smells very unique with this uh, cedar wood in the very dry down you're gonna get uh, some uh, woodiness from it uh, and the dry down supporting you know the the powdery flowers and the sweetness from the amber it's a very amazing scent especially if you like powdery fragrances as i said uh, you need to check this one out so this one lipstick fever by Jolie has a gun next one i have a fragrance uh, that's really hyped up on YouTube um, everyone has been loving this fragrance for a reason and I'm talking about um, Signature by Mont Blanc uh, you guys this uh, bottle it looks absolutely beautiful looks very feminine and very very unique it's also very heavy so um, it really looks uh, very expensive and also the scent itself smells uh, very expensive even though it's a very affordable one it's a signature worthy in my opinion of course uh, because it really smells unique uh, white florals if you can imagine uh, all of all kind of white florals very fresh smelling mixing with some fruity notes like clementine gives it uh, some um, sourness in the opening of the fragrance but it's not annoying it's not very sharp it mixes in very well with the creamy uh, white florals in here and it also has a benzoin and a vanilla note so it's a it's a sweet fragrance in the dry down all mixing together beautifully 
and gives it that creamy uh, consistency um, it's just like you know a very high-end thick um, body lotion or you know body cream a uh, very luxurious feeling when you wear it um, of course i love to wear it especially right after shower you know during daytime it really makes me uh, you know very confident and very attractive so I highly recommend uh, this one of course because it's a really very sensual and feminine uh, fragrance and it's very affordable so this one was signature by Mont Blanc and number nine uh, in today's list is going to be a fragrance from Dolce and Gabbana house uh, it's an amazing fragrance if you're looking for a very delicate and feminine uh, fragrance you're gonna absolutely love it and uh, this fragrance is um, Parfum Intense by Dolce & Gabbana um, I've tried uh, the original Parfum um, I wasn't a big fan of it actually I decluttered it uh, quickly because the orange blossom in the OG was very strong I'm not a huge fan of this uh, flower but the orange blossom in here is much better mixing with the tuberose um, it really smells way more smoother and way more delicate than the original one also the marshmallow note in here is not as sweet um, it's here it smells way more powdery I love powdery fragrances so that's why I love this one way more than the original it's an amazing white florals um, marshmallowy uh, very sweet and also powdery in a very unique way in a mature way actually it doesn't smell that juvenile or girly it really smells um, you know like grown-up lady that's why I believe it's a very uh, unique sensual sexy seductive scent um, yeah, in a budget of course because you're gonna again find it online uh, very inexpensive I got mine only for 50 bucks it doesn't project uh, you know that much um, after maybe two hours is gonna sit uh, closer to the skin uh, but it has a great lasting power um, for you know night out for a romantic situation because it really smells that sultry and sensual uh, so highly recommend this one of course you guys if you're looking for a mature grown up really you know delicate powdery sweet floral scent you're gonna absolutely adore this one so again this was Parfum Intense by Dolce & Gabbana and the last one in today's video is going to be a very elegant and special and different scent uh, that smells uh, really unique but in a very you know inviting and sensual way and I'm talking about Amethyst by Lalique um, of course this is an older fragrance but you guys it really smells so elegant and very very affordable I got mine only for $30 or $40 um, and of course everyone is saying this is uh, a duke for Meliora's uh, Parfum Timorly which I agree but uh, I love this one more than Meliora because this one is more elegant and also it's not as sweet as Meliora uh, this fragrance you guys is all about you know berries if you like those fresh juicy berries what's interesting also about this fragrance the black currant leaves in here uh, smells uh, like a uh, fresh basil you know fresh airy basil uh, the scent in here smells so different because of that you know uh, green leaves note uh, gives it that uniqueness uh, and also it balances the sweetness of the berries in this fragrance uh, because the berries in here smells um, uh, sweet of course but fresh and a bit tart at the same time you think of um, a bowl full of you know all kind of fresh berries like you know the dark ones you know the black ones and the blue ones it's really an interesting uh, fragrance it also has a heavy base of uh, some woody notes and clean musk so that's why you're gonna feel so different and special when you wear it it smells uh, clean musky fruity airy um, all comes in a very elegant yet very sensual way uh, also my man loves it so much uh, he finds it very unique and appealing so this was Amethyst by Lalique I really hope you have enjoyed today's video and found it helpful for you let me know in the comments what some uh, sensual cheapest fragrances from your perfume collection I would love to know and again thank you so much you guys for watching thank you for supporting and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye